In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can turn a table view row into a button, seamlessly taking you to another view controller, and how you can pass information through the segue between those two view controllers to make the content of the second view controller relevant. So let's get started in Xcode. First, I'm going to create a segue between my first view controller and the second view controller which I have here. To do that, select the cell, scroll over so you can see everything, control drag from the cell to that second view controller and create a show segue. If we run it now, we'll see that we just have that segue between two views. As you can see now, our segue is in place, we can go between them. But we're not passing inf any information, so it's kind of useless if you want to make this second screen contextual. So to do that, we need to make a pair for segue function in our view controller for that table view. As you can see, I have my function here. And we only want to run our piece of code for this one segue between a table view row and a view controller. So we're going to put an if segue.identifier equals and the string for the name of our segue, which we didn't put in. So we can select our segue. Let's put uh, more info, because that's what our segue is doing. Back to our view controller. Call it more info. So when a segue is prepared, we're going to check if it's a more info segue. And if it is, we're going to run our code. So the easiest piece of information for us to access on which row was clicked so we're going to put that into a variable. So there, select, selected row, index, equals self dot table view index path for selected row. That gives us the index path for the row that is currently selected. So now we need to pass the index path to our view controller. So let's get our view controller set up first, just like in my other how to pass information between view controllers tutorial. There dot uh, move view controller and it needs to be of the type move more info view controller because that's the um, view controller that we're sending it that's the type of view controller, the class type that we're sending it to. Dot. So that equals seg dot destination view controller. I don't actually have autocomplete working for some reason, so I'm just copying and pasting it as um, move more info view controller. So that sets up our view controller. Finally, we need to send it to a class in our view controller. So I created a class earlier in our view controller called move ID. This is going to be the ID that I'm sending to my move info view controller. In the view did load, which runs when the view is displayed, I'm printing that move ID to the console. So let's stick our row in to that variable dot move ID equals also selected row the index as you can see I spelled that wrong. Um, we want to put an exclamation mark because it's an optional and then row. That's all we need to do and let's run our app. Finally, when we select our row, as you can see, down in the console, the row ID is printed. As you can see, the first row is zero and the second row is one. From there, what I'd recommend doing is, as you can see, I have a array that I was filling in that table with. And down here, I just pass the movie ID from the array to that view controller so it can query against the database in the cloud or um, core data for that particular movie ID. You can do whatever you want though, 